Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs 11 straight years now. Today I'd like to share Psalm 145 verses 1 to 7. Here's God's word. I will extol you, my God and King, and bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall commend your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. On the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wondrous works, I will meditate. They shall speak of the might of your awesome deeds and will, I will declare your greatness. They shall pour forth the fame of your abundant goodness and shall sing aloud of your righteousness. Psalm 145, 1-7. And here's the poem I wrote, inspired by this psalm. Extol the Lord your God and your King. Bless the Lord your God, for He is faithful and steadfast in His love. Remember all the ways that He has blessed your forefathers with His mercy. The Lord God has shown His splendor and majesty amongst the saints. Extol Him, for He is the Lord your God. He is also your King and loving Father. Praise the Lord your Almighty, for He is worthy of your worship and adoration. Keep Him first in all that you think and do, so it will bring Him exaltation. There are no other gods who knows you inside and out. God is omniscient. He is full of strength and power. God controls all things as he is omnipotent. Great is the Lord who provides all your needs and forgives your sins. He is able to save those who confess his name and depend on him. Give the Lord your faithful service and dedicate your life to a loving father. He is pleased with those who follow his laws and those who faithfully endures. Reflection. What practical ways can you extol the Lord your God and your King? There are many ways that we can um, praise the Lord and bless His name by um, constantly being in His Word, studying it, meditating on it, and following it. That's one practical way that uh, we can extol the Lord. It's also another practical way to do that is to share the gospel to others, especially to those who do not know him. Or share your burden to each other, to those who know him and to those who are in his church. It is important for us to be able to think of the Lord in all that we do. Um, because true worship is not just uh, going to church and doing it on one day of the week. But true worship is actually um, thinking of the Lord and thinking of the things He thinks, thinking of the ways that uh, we will live our lives to serve Him. And um, remember when you first got in love with somebody, you can't stop thinking about them and you can't stop... Um, trying to find out how you're going to please them. That is how we can practically serve the Lord. Um, our minds are not full of worldly stuff, but it's full of God, godly things. So it's important for us to uh, also keep our bodies um, healthy and holy, because if we don't have a healthy body, we also will fail to praise Him. Because it's, it's very hard to praise uh, the Lord if you are in pain, if you are, if you are, um, if you're languishing, if you are um, depressed. So it's important for us to keep our eyes focused on Him so that we don't go through the, all the negative things which comes from the world and which comes from the devil. So I encourage you to dwell on this psalm because this psalm is a very, uh, encouraging some for us to learn how to worship God. Thanks for watching and I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. 
please subscribe to my channel and YouTube so I could make more videos to bring you the Word of God. Thanks for watching.